In the United States alone, there are around 300,000 people who die annually because of cardiac arrest. Researchers at the University of Washington want to help combat this staggering number of cardiac arrest. They say a voice assistant like Alexa, Google Home, or even your smartphone could help identify if someone is in cardiac arrest. Inside Science it turns out that two-thirds of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest actually happen in the private residency. More importantly, in the bedroom when you're alone and you might not have anyone to basically help you out because they are also sleeping. That's actually a big problem and one of the things with cardiac arrest is if you can provide CPR in a timely manner, you can potentially save people. Now, researchers have trained a smart speaker to recognize and listen for critical indicators of possible cardiac arrest like abnormal breathing and gasping sounds, and then call for help. In more than half of the situations when people have cardiac arrest, they have something called the agonal breathing event. In layman terms, it's basically gasping for breath. The proof of concept research was done from actual 911 calls using an Alexa smart speaker. The device detected agonal breathing events 97% of the time from up to 20 feet away. Is he conscious? Um, uh, no, he's, he's passed out. His breathing is irregular. Can you put the phone near him so I can hear how his breathing sounds? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am. Hello? And he's not responding. I'm trying to break him, but he's not responding. Okay. Agonal breathing happens when a patient experiences very low oxygen levels. The guttural gasping noise is unique and a good audio biomarker to identify cardiac arrest. Researchers say it would work best if it were set up in a bedroom to monitor patients with heart conditions by listening for abnormal breathing during sleep. If an event was detected, it would alert anyone nearby to provide CPR, or if no response, would automatically call 911. They also programmed the device to know the difference between abnormal and normal sleep sounds. Researchers tweaked the device so it wouldn't accidentally classify snoring as agonal breathing, and to listen for other common things like sounds of cats and dogs, cars honking, and air conditioning sounds so that emergency services are not called unnecessarily. Scientists also recognize privacy could be a big concern with this type of device. Everything is sent locally and there's nothing stored on the device itself. The only time when something is basically sent out 911 or to the cloud is when you detect an agonal breathing event. So all your conversations and other things which do not sound like agonal breathing events do not get recorded at all. Next, researchers are working to get access to more 911 calls related to cardiac arrest to help improve accuracy even further and avoid false emergency calls. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.